Is it what 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 crazy or talk crazy or what type of crazy is that? Except crazy news making the headline. Black Maria is to is to carry criminals, taking looters that are in government today. Sometimes it gets confrontational. Fuck you in the face. Kill me! Don't put words into my mouth. Whatever it is, that will bring our ministry to this report. I said, oh, help on me. Cold Digest. I want to know why I should be believing them. Every weekday, we we'll bring all of these together and take them to the court of public opinion. Everybody has your right in Nigeria. Where you are the judge. A very beautiful morning to you. Thank you so very much for joining us on Call That Just Extra this Saturday. And of course, not just any Saturday, the first Saturday in the month of June. And I'm so glad to be right in front of you and for you also joining us on this segment, of course, of this particular episode of the program. Yes, my name is Omotayo Alo. Good to have you around on the program. And so uh, this morning, I have my beautiful colleague who has been holding forth for two Saturdays now, Abbasadi Omowi. Good morning. Good morning to you, Mateo. Good to have you around. Yeah. And so let me say happy new month to you. Yeah. Yes, and happy new month to happy you. Month. <laughs> happy first Saturday of the month. Exactly. Uh, happy everything, really. Yeah. So let's just quickly look at this week, uh, you yeah. know, the week on the review. You know, what would you particularly say is most dramatic? something that you feel oh this happened this week and you know this actually has a very very strong sense of um affecting a lot of things in the country so what will that thing be really for say okay looking through the week i think i'll pinpoint the launch of ugoni land cleanup okay that is really memorable because it's a project that has been on the way it's something that should have been done very many years ago but it coming now well, some analysts say it's better late than never. Mm -hmm. I think that's really, it's, it's because it's not just affecting the people living within that community of Ogoni, mm -hmm. but the entire Nadir Delta region, the entire nation, Nigeria, and of course, the world. You know, whatever happens to a part of the world has a way of affecting the entire lot of yeah. you know, the globe. It and of course, the, the, the implication would actually cut across, you know, there'll be economic implication. Yeah you know affects lifestyle of course you, you understand and uh, all, all of that because uh, you know the the degradation of the area the destruction of that um, area has uh, affected people so negatively hmm. they can no longer fish at least in more parts most parts of that area they can no longer farm because the farmlands are all flooded with um, oil spillage and you know everywhere is just kind of destroyed yeah well it's a good news really that the, it's been launched and uh, well as we hear the cleanup process is going to take about 25 to 30 years wow so that's really a huge number so of what, years. what will be done in between you know more like a respite kind of program to actually help the people stay through the period when the land will be properly cleaned up was there anything said about a temporary plan well i'm sure that's the uh, ministry of the environment of course where the federal government is working uh, will be working on that to okay. help the people living within that area to get their groups on um, some things they can be doing to still keep them you know to keep their hopes alive mm. while the cleanup is ongoing yeah. and uh the Ogoni land, of course, we know is just a part of the Niger Delta yeah. region. There are other parts, and even some analysts say that there are other parts that are more affected, affected. you know, more more destroyed than even the Ogoni land. Wow. So, but starting from Ogoni land, the federal government has said that twenty-seven other areas will be cleaned up. So it's some good news. We only await, uh, you know, action. We mm -hmm. await, and that people would also show some patience and cooperation yeah. if there is need to say move away from a particular area at some point for mm -hmm. that area to be cleaned up and then they return so far the government makes available you know a do i say sitting camp where people can just be for the time being, being yeah. then i think we should cooperate with yeah. them and achieve something good and i also think one very important thing is maintenance you know after yeah. all of this is done you know it's it's just so it wouldn't be nice for ogoni land to go back to square one yeah. if it takes 30 years to clean up and yeah. so maintenance is actually very key at this time yeah yes and so you remember last week that um the topic drug abuse was discussed on the program and of course bosse really handled that well 
And so this week we have quite a number of interesting topics to discuss on the program. You know, of course, uh, on the program we've actually brought um, different classes of individuals who have aired their views about what they think of Nigeria, you know, economic wise, uh, political related, and um, even other uh, social cultural ways that how, how the view Nigeria basically and of course preferring solutions. And so one very interesting thing we are doing today is we'll be having children on the program to actually tell us what they think about Nigeria. So that would be the very first segment, which is Nigeria in view, what children think. And so you really want to hear their views, you know, how they see the way, how, how they view the, the things that are happening around them. And you know, their own inputs, some of like a solution to the problem, you know, um, if elders that are looking at it this way, you know, children have a way of just dropping some solution hints that could just be very good and could just work for us in this country. So that's the very first segment we'll be looking at. Then after that, you know, uh, looking through the dailies, you know, over month, especially this year, it's been so sickening that there are a series of cases reporting um, a man raping a two-year-old girl or a father sleeping with his own daughter or sleeping with his stepdaughter. And, you know, it, it kept me wondering and I'm like, this is not normal. You know, it takes somebody who is not psychologically balanced to do such a thing. And, you know, the question is, what is the sexual appeal in sleeping with a two-year-old? Or even babies of two, of eight months were raped. And I'm like, what's happening? And so you, 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 you could be asking that same question too because I'm really bothered. I'm really wondering why this thing is happening. And even aside from the rape cases, you know, we also see cases of abuse. I read one about a stepmother actually... Um, chopping off the private part or, or, or a stepson, you know, breaking his arm. And I'm like, what's happening? You know, when humans begin to attack other human beings, then there's really something wrong somewhere. And so th that's all the segment will be handled, of course, by an expert who really knows about human psychology and also someone who is a psychiatrist to tell us what is really the happening and, and you know how can one monitor this kind of behaviors and people that we that that live around us so has to be very vigilant basically and to those who have actually suffered one abuse of the order you know how they can get help how they could return to being normal human beings so that they don't need to the hurt all through their lives and definitely we'll be having the entertainment segment because the music artists will be joining us right on set to actually take us through the world of the entertainment industry and of course how we started and until where he is currently at basically so that's pretty much what we'll be looking at today so you see that it's something that actually going to require a lot of your time you know a lot of your attention because i tell you there's a lot to learn on the program today but so you want to say something yeah, cases of rape every now and again, it's truly alarming and it's disturbing. And I think I like your use of the word, it's sickening, because mm. we begin to wonder what a gratification there is. Yeah. It's not someone who's elderly who understands, uh, do I say, the Jimmy gimmicks of sex mm -hmm. and who can actually, you know, satisfy you. Satis the exactly. You want. Uh, you're not getting what you would do. The real satisfaction that's what i think mm -hmm. you're not getting the real satisfaction you want you're hurting this young fellow fellow do you know that it's not even only about elderly men um raping or having kind of knowledge of young girls you have elderly men having kind of knowledge of young boys hmm. just yesterday i saw a 74 year old man you know molesting uh is it seven or four year old and the age uh, is just it, it gets smaller these days of course it does what's uh, happening but, uh, well, it depends on everyone has a role to play in that. Of course, each person has to, you know, clear themselves of the sickening attitude. Everyone has to regard their fellow, their neighbors as their own children. Would you? Well, there have been cases of parents, yeah, a father raping his, his own, own daughter, daughter serially. Uh, so I, I would have wanted to describe that um, or suggest that people began to see others as their children. But it appears even the blood, uh, it, bloodline, it cuts across. Isn't even helping matters, yeah. but. Let's just see everyone as, uh, you know, who should be respected, mm. respected sexually, respected in every area, in every respect. Mm -hmm. You can, you know, even 
think of so mm -hmm. we can uh, get ourselves off this and then those who are who are victims should not be afraid to speak up mm. these days there are different uh, departments and agencies yeah. within different states that have been you know given that responsibility of not only uh, helping to get justice but mm. also to rehabilitate yeah. uh, those who are victims so let's be proactive to speak out because there is always help as the corner yeah and of course uh, the government so shouldn't sleep yeah. this is the time to rise up you know get our games on and uh, get people who who are stronger who know their onion to yeah. defend you know usually it's, there are times this case even goes to the court and don't be surprised that these persons win the cases yeah because they have the very strong, strong lawyers, lawyers who yeah. know what they can do who know what cases to cite to win the case uh, and you know not not minding the damage that has been done that to that life done. so and uh, well but one thing is there should also be hope that things can get better, get better. i am I'm, I'm a strong believer in uh, i'm a strong advisor for hope because mm. i believe whatever is happening isn't cannot be compared to what you can picture in your mind yes. you can picture positivity mm -hmm. you can picture uh, optimism you mm -hmm. can picture uh, productivity in the land mm -hmm. then surely uh, you know it will get to you sooner than oh. you even think yes and you know one thing i've also learned is that all of this acts they don't just play out you know it would have been thought out. Of it course. comes from a preconceived action and, you know, you've been nursing this evil intention and, you know, you just want to, you just know, an opportunity. opportunity to launch out. And I'm like, God, what's happening? And, uh, and if you also look at it, uh, do I say critically now, some of these young girls who are lured now, maybe not the two-year-old. Okay, now, the case of the two-year-olds, yeah. some of them are people whose parents probably left them in the care of someone mm. it's not all of the cases that are like that but you could find okay just uncle stay with uncle i will go to school i'll come pick you later in the day in the evening and so what's uncle's and problem then, what's uncle's problem well that, uh, that's left for uncle <laughs> okay. to answer now that's one case <laughs> i'm just be, getting very pissed right that now that could be the case of a child being taken even to crash yeah and you find some dude around the crash acting abnormally Ab yeah. or some house help yeah acting abnormally or even the now let's that for those who are really toddlers the yeah. very young people now let's go those who are a bit elderly 8 10 12 some of them are persons who who are going through child abuse in what sense they are on the street talking i know the concept of hawking usually raises so many concerns because mm. so there are some of us who even had to do it when we were younger mm. you know so we're like okay we are engaging in it because we're trying to help family, family and yeah that. but by the time we begin to look at what risks these persons are exposed, exposed to. to yeah. The other day I was returning with some colleagues and we saw this young girl uh, hawking. Well, she she was hawking oranges. Mm. Well, at the moment we saw her, she lay down by the roadside. There were some dudes, there were some guys around, around there. Uh, and, you know, just, and someone does mention the guy. That's how it happens. Mm. They talk you, they buy, maybe they've been buying orange oranges worth 50 naira. Yeah. The next day they say, how, how much is everything on your tray? It's just 500 naira, uh, really. Would you mind bringing it to my house? Mm. The child wants to sell. Yes. It's, uh, the motive for going out is to make profit, exactly. to, to make sales. And, and, and children are just very innocent. They don't yeah. even think of those things. And, and then there's education. Some, yeah. But even in all of these, I hear there are some cases of some children who themselves, I don't know, are just into this thing. God bless you. You know, when I was actually, <laughs> I was discussing this, and I, I have a friend who said that he has 13 year olds in his office who practically molest him hmm. and so i'm wondering okay they're just into it they i don't know what maybe when did this culture start you know maybe you because of want stuff things we've been exposed to i don't know maybe movies movies maybe magazines I, I really can't tell i know there are some persons who have issues with sex like mm. I, i've forgotten what term it's called now but there are persons who addicted to sex like okay. it's it's their way of life All so right. they need lots of therapy lots of maybe prayers also to get out, of, out it. of it but i said that there are some young girls who when you even see the way they view like, okay but when I, I want to raped, would you call it yes rape? but uh, but at the same time i also want to strongly believe that those girls that behave that way also have an history yeah, you know because um i actually spoke with um a psychologist and said that people who have these tendencies have actually suffered one abuse at the time mm. or the other and so it's just um an out it's, it's just like the, the after effect of all of these things and so they can't help themselves and so the only way to to 
get you know to release themselves is to actually engage in these things and just lure other people to themselves well that, that i'm not a psychologist but that's what <laughs> i learned from somebody but of course a psychiatrist and a psychologist will do all all the justice to this because really the, the topic is the menace of child abuse connecting the dot you know we should really know what is really happening and how we can get this problem solved as soon as possible so uh, we'll take a very quick break now when we return we'll come back with the very first segment of the program which topic is nigeria in view what children think stay with us for topical issues nigerians must have something to say arms we don't need arms for anything let them put it into education. They need to buy another arms now. What is that for the Who? Mokara. Government should deal with them squarely. Please help us bring back our guests. No money, no markets. We are dying. Everybody is crying. Nothing, nothing. Any man got support, no man stops. It's a prophecy I believe he must have received from heaven. Yes. The people giving voice to the voiceless. Every day, every hour, and every minute, news break in Nigeria. Things happen so fast, it's most times difficult to track and comprehend them. But that's what we do right here on DJ360. 2015, would you want to come back again? It's like asking Jesus Christ if he knew he was going to die, will you, come, will you want to come back as the savior of the world again? We do not just help you track the stories, we we'll break them down. Explore all the angles, analyze the issues so that you can fully comprehend the stories and use them to make the right decisions. Cool TV News now live on all Androids. Welcome to Cool TV Primetime News. Download Cool TV News app from your Play Store. Click on the menu to see all our top stories from politics, sports, business, foreign news and live TV to watch us live on your mobile. I want to know why I should be believing them. You can also click on video to see all our YouTube videos. Call TV News, a 24-hour news station. You know, Angela, that's a, that's a very difficult question. It is difficult to respond to that question. Angela, that's a great question. Great question, Angela. Angela, that is a very great question. That's a great question, Angela. Okay, that's a great question. Yeah, very good question. That's a good question. That's a good question. That's an interesting question. <laughs> this is an interesting question you pose. 60 Minutes with Angela. Again, answers to every question you always wanted to ask. For topical issues, Nigerians must have something to say. Arms, we don't need arms for anything. Let them put it into education. They need to buy another arms now. What, what is that for the what, what, who? Hey, Mokara, government should deal with them squarely. Please, help us bring back our guests. No money, no markets. We are dying. Everybody is crying. Nothing, nothing. Any man got support, no man stops. It's a prophecy I believe he must have received from heaven. Yes! The people giving voice to the voiceless. Every day, every hour, and every minute, news break in Nigeria. Things happen so fast, it's most times difficult to track and comprehend them. But that's what we do right here on DJ360. 2015, would you want to come back again? It's like asking Jesus Christ if he knew he was going to die. Will you, come, will you want to come back as the savior of the world again? We do not just help you track the stories, we we'll break them down. Explore all the angles, analyze the issues so that you can fully comprehend the stories and use them to make the right decisions. Is it what 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 crazy or talk crazy or what type of crazy is that except crazy news making the headlines? Black Maria is to is to carry criminals, taking looters that are in government today. Sometimes it gets confrontational. Slap you in the face. Excuse me, don't put words into my mouth. Whatever it is, that will bring our military to the support. I said, oh, On Cold Digest, I want to know why I should be believing them. Every weekday, we bring all of these together. 
and take them to the court of public opinion. Everybody have your right in Nigeria. Where you are the judge. Good to have you join us again. You're still on to Core Digest Extra on Core TV News. And so uh, for this particular segment, like I said earlier, we are actually uh, taking the views of children on what they think about Nigeria. And so, of course, we're doing that also in the light of the recent celebration we had on the 27th of May, uh, which was uh, the World Children's Day. And it's so interesting to know that children actually have a say and when they talk you uh you you you, you want to bet that you will get one or two words of wisdom from what they have said and how those um, solutions or, or those points can be transformed into solutions basically and so i uh, have to find uh hard to find guests this morning and uh, they are actually beautifully dressed in the attire of their club. They are actually student members of uh, the youth, the youth development club. And so I have Okechuku Victor, who is here this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good to have you around. And I have Olani Otawa. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. Now. So, uh, Victor, how old are you? I'm 14 years old. 14, and Tawa is. 16. Well, that's that's so great. So now we're here to discuss Nigeria, and of course, um, 14 years is a good number of time, you know, to say something about a country you've lived in. You know, right from when you were so little to this point, you should have observed some things about Nigeria. So, if you're going to describe your country, Nigeria, what would you say? How how would you describe it to someone who doesn't know Nigeria? Well, first of all, thank you for having me here. All right. About Nigeria, Nigeria is a great country. It's my country. I love Nigeria, although we still have a long way to go, but it's still a great country. I know that very soon we are going to get there. Mm. There are a lot of things you have to do in our education, economy, oil and gas, but we'll get there. Okay. Okay, so Tawa, what do you think? Um, I think that Nigeria has many great things about it. Okay. Despite the troubles of Nera and other things going on, its economy is still growing. Mm -hmm. um, I think that if only the people, we Nigerians, we can overcome our ethnics and other differences and stand up together, work together for the benefit of our nation and our motherland, mm -hmm. Nigeria will become a better place. Okay. Now, you said understanding our ethnics, working together. You know, um, some you know in nigeria it's actually a multi-ethnic society and so some people would really say okay we work together we're understanding ourselves so why would you say we need to understand ourselves better what have you noticed for you to have suggested that um like in the northern part of nigeria the fulanis they don't really tolerate the other tribes mm. like they cause troubles most times yeah so we really need to be united as one okay as as nigerians mm -hmm. so that we work together for the benefit of our nation our motherland okay so now let's look at um, the education sector which really concerns you basically you know what can you say about getting education in nigeria would you say is well uh, you something you're very satisfied with i'm not very satisfied with it because education is not easy to get in some parts of Nigeria. Access to education is very minimal. But it's still okay, it's still encouraging. But Nigeria just needs to do more, more. To, get, to get more people to have education okay. in Nigeria. All right, now. You know, it's interesting to know that you're quite young and um, I should know that you should be in secondary school by now. Yes, yes. And so after secondary school, you should be advancing to university. After university, you're talking of your youth service. Then after that, okay, you're thinking of, okay, getting a paid employment or starting your own business. And so in recent times, there's been a lot of downsizing in different industries. I don't know if you read the papers, you see that you know there is no day you don't see a company laying off 1000 workers 
some people lay, you know, 500 people and some civil servants, some people sparing to actually laid off their job or they've been owed months of salaries. And so when you see all these things, when you view, what, what does it, what does this do to you? What does it do to you seeing all these things happen around you? Tell what you can go on. Um, I don't really have much to say on that aspect. Okay. But it's just that we can we can we can make things happen. Okay. If we re- everything about this life is cooperation. Okay. If there is cooperation among the people of Nigeria, we can make things happen. Okay. And go on fine. Okay. As it ought to be. All right. Yes. Okay. So what do you have to say, Victor? Well, I do know that even though they have been laying off people from their works and sacking other people, it's our own job. It's our own job to make our thing better for ourselves. That's why the Lagos State Government inculcated the learning of trade services so that even though even if we get out of school, we can be able to still do something. Mm. As for what I feel about it, well, Things like the economy of Nigeria is not really that good. That's why, that's why I'm probably laying them off and all this thing. But if you can just get yourself ready and be determined hmm. to work for yourself and do something or general, nothing is too small. Yeah. Nothing is too small to do so. You can be able to make, to make ends meet. Okay, now that's good. And so and, and let's look at the issue of insecurity. Of course, you've heard um, about the... Uh, Boko Haram insurgency before you you've also recently learned of the Niger Delta Avengers who are uh, bombing oil blocks here and there you know making claims on one thing or the other and so if you were uh, given an opportunity to actually solve this problem of insecurity you know they call you Victor you know these Boko Haram guys are just giving us a hell of problem and we just want to get away with them you know the full and heads meant to killing people you know so victor what would your solution be how would you help solve our problem first of all violence is not the solution to anything so and there are two sides to the problem you have to hear what we have to hear and what they also have to say then we can negotiate mm-hmm. we can negotiate and see what we can do if we can if we can meet their own needs then the problem can we can end the problem. Mm. So you believe in negotiation? Yes. Wow. Yes. A round table discussion. Yes. Okay, Tao, you want to something? Um, with also like a meeting of of those people that are fighting and myself that what do they need? Mm. Maybe um some amount of money or some things that should be stopped. Maybe they need that something should be stopped before they could stop those violence um aspects okay mm-hmm. we need to as you have said negotiation negotiation they want. maybe it's money or other things so, okay yes. all right now uh president president mohammed buhari you know when he came into office he said that one thing he would like to do is to fight corruption do you know what corruption means yes. what 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 was the meaning of corruption to start with well corruption is using the power you have to get what you want from it, like taking money and embedding money and using your position to affect the way things are around you the negative way. Okay, what what's your definition of corruption tower? To me, what I learned in school was corruption is the embezzlement of money that money that belongs to um the the people in the country mm. uh, the embezzlement like if someone embezzles the money that belongs to all the people in the country okay now do you also know that corruption entails knowing what is right and not doing it yes. you know so it, it goes beyond embezzling money basically because embezzling money is just one of the aspect of corruption Corruption is, you know, I know that I should construct a good road and I just want to do something bad because I want to save cost and, and the rest, which embezzling becomes a later part of it. But that's very fine. So now the president said, okay, um, corruption is something that has um, 
left this nation at the stage it is you know we should have been developed far more than what we see now and so one thing i want to do is ensure that i fight corruption and i don't know if you've heard some people say that if nigeria does not kill corruption corruption will kill nigeria yes. and somebody some people will say an average nigerian is corrupt are you corrupt mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are not. Okay, it's good to know they are not corrupt. So now, with the president fighting corruption now, and you know, some people are even saying that he shouldn't really waste time fighting all these people that have embezzled money. He should just face governance and the rest. So if you were in President Mohamed Buhari's shoes, you get, you know, he's fighting corruption to ensure that things are done the right way. Would you actually tour his part or what other different thing would you have done if you were the president of Nigeria? If I were the president of Nigeria, I would as well fight corruption with okay. everything in me because it's the basis of what we are suffering in Nigeria. Corruption has made Nigeria what it is today because people trying to save costs and us and us that have left Nigerians sad and happy. And so I would I would fight I would fight corruption with everything in me. Mm -hmm. I would support I would support President Muhammad Buhari for what he's doing. Okay. Even though it's going to take a lot of work to fight corruption, but I'll support him. And if I were if, if I were him, I would I would continue to fight corruption. corruption. Okay. Now, so let's take away fighting corruption now. Um, what other things would you like to do to help Nigerians at this time like this, if you had the power to do so? Well, the children are the future of tomorrow, not just tomorrow today. So I would go to the education sector because that's where all these things like the children, our children, we, all of us, the children can affect our country positively in the next 10 to 20 years. Mm -hmm. Some of us can be the presidents, governors, the councillors, senators, and we can make Nigeria a better place. Mm -hmm. So if I were to serve Nigeria, I would go to the education sector. I would enlighten my fellow children, student pupils across Nigeria that they should just follow their dreams. Anything done to become like they should just follow it and that they should keep on fighting. Mm. Then that will surely help Nigeria overcome its troubles. Okay, you want to say something, Tawa? Yes. Corruption is not the only problem in Nigeria. Okay. We also have the problem of bad parenting. Mm. Um, bad parents in the sense that some some parents they are not they don't have time for their children, which makes the children to be worried. Like now in my street, there are so many boys and girls that although they have parents, maybe their parents do not have time for them. They don't care what they where they go or the people they move with. Mm. So if I were to be the president of the country, I will. I will enlighten the parents about the um, the care they should give to their children. They should always be uh, they should always be conscious of the place that their children move to. Like this will prevent the children to be one way, mm. like smoking, um, ganging up, and some other things. Okay. Like we learned, I learned that there are different type of parents. We have um, helicopter parents. Helicopter parents, it says that some parents do um, travel from time to time without having um, time for their children. children. They don't want to know the type of assignment that the child gives to them. They don't want to know. All they know is that their children are, have um, eaten or they don't want to even... They, do, they are not... They are not... Um, they are not so concerned Concern, about the okay. uh, educational aspect of their children. children. All they want is money. I want to have money, money without having time for the children. Okay. Now, let's, uh, for, for, that's a very brilliant point you actually raised. And the issue of parenting. And of course, looking at your peers, uh, Tawa, you, are, you said you are 16, right? Yes. Yes. And so, um, some girls of your age would say, okay, since their parents are not providing for them, you know, they do other things to get money, you know, like having boyfriends, you know, or engaging in not so good practices. And so if you are also um, in their age group, you know, why do you think they always think of doing bad things to help solve their problem other than 
look for other creative means like you know victor mentioned earlier you know getting a skill knowing how to make something you know why do you always think of doing the extreme things and not the very good things i think that is because they don't have other means of getting what they want that's why they always feel like oh if i can get this from my boyfriends my my boyfriends mm. they will it will be a better way of getting it than begging for for the, for those things from other people okay so, they think that getting it is easier mm. from their boyfriend okay you want to right. so, i also think that for the girls they think that getting for their boyfriend is faster because I don't think they want to work mm. to get it, so they just want to go the easy way. Okay. They just get it, go the extreme way and get it from their boyfriend faster. Okay, interesting enough. So, if I'm going to summarize what you just said, you said you are very uh, proud of Nigeria, and so if you were given an opportunity to travel abroad, you wouldn't run out of the country, you'd stay in Nigeria. I would like to solve most of Nigeria's problems so I would stay in Nigeria. You stay in Nigeria. How about you, Tal? I can't really You can't really say? <laughs> I have okay. to learn from other countries also. Okay. Mm. To actually now come back. Not like yes. you stay there permanently. No, no, no. Okay. So we'll just quickly take this quick break. When we come back on the break, you just give your final words, your advice for Nigeria. Then we wrap up the segment. Okay. Are we good? Yes. Mm. All right, so do well to join us after this very quick time out. We'll be back with wrapping up this segment. Stay with us. Every day, every hour, and every minute, news break in Nigeria. Things happen so fast, it's most times difficult to track and comprehend them. But that's what we do right here on DJ360. 2015, would you want to come back again? It's like asking Jesus Christ if he knew he was going to die, will you, come, will you want to come back as the savior of the world again? We do not just help you track the stories, we we'll break them down, explore all the angles, analyze the issues so that you can fully comprehend the stories and use them to make the right decisions. For topical issues, Nigerians must have something to say. Arms, we don't need arms for anything. Let them put it into education. They need to buy another arms now. What did I fight for? Government should deal with them squarely. Please help us bring back our guests. No money, no markets. We are dying. Everybody is crying. Nothing, nothing. Any man got support, no man stops. It's a prophecy I believe he must have received from heaven. Yes. The people giving voice to the voiceless. Cool TV News now live on all Androids. Welcome to Cool TV Primetime News. Download Cool TV News app from your Play Store. Click on the menu to see all our top stories from politics, sports, business, foreign news, and live TV to watch us live on your mobile. I want to know why I should be believing them. You can also click on video to see all our YouTube videos. Cool TV News, a 24 hour news station. You can now watch Call TV News live from anywhere in the world on our website www.calltvnews.com. Click on Live TV on our website and watch us live. And welcome to Call TV Primetime News. To follow us on Twitter, click on Twitter icon on our website. And Facebook, click on the Facebook and YouTube to see all our previous news production. You can also watch us live on YouTube. Click Call TV. Leave a space, then news. Call TV News, a 24-hour news station. And see you very much on the topic, Nigeria in view, what children think. Of course, if you started the program with us, of course, you must have um, heard what the children have to say on how they intend to solve the problem of Nigeria and their perspective to how people who are really under the this crunch of economic um, down uh, downturn you know how they can pick up from where they are and actually make a difference so we'll be rounding up this segment very soon so just before we do that i'd like my guests to give their final words so i'll start from the ladies the ladies first so tawa let's know what your final speech is to 
uh, your colleagues watching you at home, to parents listening to you out there, and of course to leaders, including the president, you know, what do you have to say as a round of this particular segment? Um, what I have to say is, uh, although I'm advocating on behalf of Nigerian children, to all parents who are watching me, that they are uh, helicopter parents, uh, as I've said, they should try to create small time for their children because children are the root of all nations. To, to, a child today is an adult tomorrow. Is what you prepare the child of today that will become of him or her tomorrow. So if a, if a parent, if parents should at least maybe twice or um, five times in a week have time to check their children's assignments or other things, the children will have the fear that uh, if I don't do these things, the parents will check my books and they will penalize me for that. Mm. And to our leaders, they should please and please try to improve on our education sector. They should, they should try to create more facilities of the um, education. Like now, we have some schools that they are overpopulated and this cause some problems in the school. So if we have um, some, um, if we have um, schools more, more schools in the country, it will be better off. All right, thank you so very much, Tawa. So to you, Victor. My advice to my fellow children is that be yourself and follow your dreams. Follow your dream. You can be whatever you want to be in the future as far as you work hard. And someone said education without purpose is mere schooling. So don't just go to school to just learn. Let there be a driver that is going to guide you towards the paths that you are going towards. So let's just, let's, uh, let's, in our education, let there be purpose. And to the government, I'll say, let us improve on our education system, the education structure. Let them, let them more ways that children can get access to schooling in Nigeria. Then in our power sector also, let them try to improve on it. Whatever they are working on, let them try to speed up the process so that Nigerians can enjoy the benefits of it. Then also to our parents, let us love our children and let us care for them. Let us give them everything they are going to need become better people in the future. Thank you so very much, Shokichiko Victor and Olani Otawa. It was really nice having you on the program. And you know, just like Okichuku Victor said, that education without purpose is mere schooling. Now that's a point I'd like you to hold very strongly. And not just education, you know, every individual should have a purpose. You know, that purpose will drive you to whether you want to succeed or make a mess of your life. So you have to be deliberate about everything you do and what your actions portend because all the little, little bit of actions actually come together to form what a man's life or what an entire individual's life is really about. So it's time to be purposeful, it's time to be deliberate, and it's time to take hold of our lives as only us can really be blamed whatever happens and so it's important that we make the best, the very, very best out of our lives. God bless Nigeria. And just like Victor and uh, Tawa said that they are so proud of Nigeria, regardless of the things happening around them. And they are willing to solve the problem of this nation. Now we'll be moving to another segment of the program just after this time out. As we'll be taking a look at the menace of child abuse. Connecting the dot. Stay with us. Call TV News now live on all Androids. Welcome to Call TV Primetime News. Download Call TV News app from your Play Store. Click on the menu to see all our top stories from politics, sports, business, foreign news, and live TV to watch us live on your mobile. I want to know why I should be believing them. You can also click on video to see all our YouTube videos. Call TV News, a 24 hour news station. You can now watch Core TV News live from anywhere in the world on our website www.coretvnews.com. Click on live TV on our website and watch us live. And welcome to Core TV Primetime News. To follow us on Twitter, click on Twitter icon on our website.
and Facebook. Click on the Facebook and YouTube to see all our previous news production. You can also watch us live on YouTube. Click Call TV, leave a space, then news. Call TV News, a 24-hour news station. You know, Angela, that's a, that's a very difficult question. It is difficult to respond to that question. Angela, that's a great question. Great question, Angela. Angela, that is a very great question. That's a great question, Angela. Okay, that's a great question. Yeah, very good question. That's a good question. That's a good question. That's an interesting question. <laughs> this is an interesting question you pose. 60 Minutes with Angela. Again, answers to every question you always wanted to ask. With over 7 billion of world population and still counting, the world needs to hear you now than ever. Whatever your ministry or vision is, Gospel Africa will help get you there faster than you think possible. For inquiries and participation, contact 009 503 3859 or 082 or visit www Gospel Africa, the number one media solution for the church today. Gospel Africa, showing on this station at this time. You know, Angela, that's a, that's a very difficult question. It is difficult to respond to that question. Angela, that's a great question. Great question, Angela. Angela, that is a very great question. That's a great question, Angela. Okay, that's a great question. Yeah, very good question. That's a good question. That's a good question. That's an interesting question. <laughs> this is an interesting question you pose. 60 Minutes with Angela. Again, answers to every question you always wanted to ask. You can now watch Call TV News live from anywhere in the world on our website www.calltvnews.com. Click on Live TV on our website and watch us live. And welcome to Call TV Primetime News. To follow us on Twitter, click on Twitter icon on our website. And Facebook, click on the Facebook and YouTube to see all our previous news production. You can also watch us live on YouTube. Click Call TV. Live Space, then News. Call TV News, a 24-hour news station. Every day, every hour, and every minute, news break in Nigeria. Things happen so fast, it's most times difficult to track and comprehend them. But that's what we do right here on DJ360. 2015, would you want to come back again? It's like asking Jesus Christ if he knew he was going to die, would you, come, would you want to come back as the savior of the world again? We do not just help you track the stories, we break them down, explore all the angles, analyze the issues so that you can fully comprehend the stories and use them to make the right decisions. 